Welcome to another video. So in this video, we'll be discussing about UGE, the exam patterns, and the uh, like common queries that you guys had. So we have uh, five of our uh, like five of my mentees, which are a part of my Pitsat mentorship group, and here uh, they they gave the UGE today. So I'll be asking the common queries that you had, and yeah, let's get started. So can you tell us about the marking scheme of today's paper? Yeah, it was basically uh, 50 marks. Uh, it was 50 questions in SUPR and 50 questions in JEEP, and one mark for SUPR. There's no negative marking in SUPR, and two marks uh, uh, for each question in RAP or JEEP, and minus half for uh, wrong answer. Okay, okay, it was pretty similar to the last year, and we didn't have so uh, like negative marking in the first paper, which is SUPR, and we had the same marking scheme in the JEEP. So yeah, thanks for telling us the. Like the marking team. Now we'll start with the actual questions. So uh, let's start with super uh, subject proficiency test. So can you tell us about the physics section of of subject proficiency test? How did you find and which chapters were the majority questions from? Yeah, it was basically like you said. It was all uh, waves, oscillations, and there's a lot of electrostatics. I did not find. I found very really less questions on thermodynamics and. I see very less uh, in physics. There were in chemistry. There were more, but in physics, there were hardly any. So I am able to remember a little bit of part which was not uh, of that maximum importance, but it was one question from alternating current and uh, one question from magnetism, and even one question from uh, mechanics, which was uh, pretty easy. So these three topics were covered, but seriously, only one question was there. Fine, then we'll move on with the chemistry part of the subject proficiency test. Thing is, I didn't really, I don't really remember any questions from organic. There were a lot of questions from. There was a question of n, l, m, and n orbitals. I, that's I think from structures of atom. And yeah, based on Bohr's model of atom, uh, they did give a question. I'm not sure if that was from chemistry or physics. There were questions. Uh, there were less questions from organic, but yeah, go and so. Uh... If you remember any questions or any tips that so what I remember was one question from uh, was from polymerization. It was asking about the polymerization and uh, only one question from organic chemistry. One question from inorganic chemistry, like uh, based on the type of reaction, which one is correct and which one is wrong. Two questions from structure of atom and one was talking about the Bohr's atom. It was like a point in the theory of NCRT, so it was directly copied from there. And uh, rest, uh, everything was mixed like uh, no organic chemistry anymore, and uh, inorganic chemistry and uh, physical chemistry. And one question was for molarity. It was a simple question. It was uh, asking us to find the molarity of the solution, and everything was given. So there was no complex questions of that. Okay, yeah, totally, totally fine. Uh, so Umang, would you like to uh, say something about the chemistry section? The chemistry section was like uh, uh, as uh, every. Uh, other one said that uh, only uh, mainly only one question was from organic. It was uh, regarding polymers, and uh, questions from inorganic and physical dominated. Physical uh, in physical chemistry there were two questions from uh, the structure of atom. Uh, I can't classify uh, differentiate if it was from physics, modern physics, or the structure of atom. But there was one question like that. And uh, basically, that was it. Uh, the chemistry part was a little was little easier than uh, other parts in SUPR. Okay, great, great. So the polymerization one was that we were given options like uh, we had to tell which of these form monomer, and the options were like uh, ethylene, uh, acetylene, and lean and ethanol. Only that question was for organic section, and rest all was from physical and inorganic most of the questions were theoretical and there were only two numericals as far as i can remember one was from i uh, one was related to molarity uh, and i the other one i don't remember uh, and there were theoretical questions like one form was bohr's model we had to tell that how much percentage of atom is empty and there were reactions in inorganic and there for the most part most of the inorganic questions were that and it was overall theoretical it was easy okay guys let's talk about the mathematics and the logical part 
so were there direct questions from like let's say series and uh, sequence series and venn diagram then the normal logical reasoning part and like what different questions were there from the maths and the logical reasoning let's talk about that uh, so what i believe was the complete entire math section uh, was dominated by probability uh, what i believe is 60% of the probability and rest other things and one question i remember from periodicity trigonometry and a uh, lot of pnc and uh, the uh, yeah uh, probability dominated the entire section so there were a lot of questions from probability like uh, pack of cards like uh, sitting around the table everything was uh, revolving around the probability entire paper was revolving around probability in math a lot of questions of trigonometry and functions were made uh, and there were questions from reference relation as well which is usually only asked in j advance okay guys so let's talk about the uh, research aptitude test and the the leap leap section of the paper yeah it was the majority of oscillation and waves and shm and in the reef section uh, not lot of physics chemistry and mathematics was asked a lot of things which are out of syllabus in the context of all these three subjects were asked so a very less context of the subjects or the topics which are present in 11th and 12th curriculum were asked and only uh, oscillation and waves shm these two topics what i remember are were majorly asked out of the syllabus and rest everything was out of the syllabus it was damn yeah. difficult to be honest <laughs> in the physics chemistry part i don't remember any chemistry chemistry not much but physics it was like uh, i think way more j advanced level question uh, yes uh, there was one question from gravitation uh, it related concepts of gravitation and energy conservation uh, so i agree that most of the questions were tough but i think there were a few questions which seemed tough but i think they were in a different language if i i remember i understood them and then they were like very easy so other than that most of the questions were difficult you tell us about the chemistry part how was the weightage of organic physical and inorganic chemistry and what was your experience with the chemistry part uh, organic is not given weightage in <laughs> ug <laughs> i can guarantee you that mostly the questions from physical and inorganic dominated in this section too okay uh, okay fine so what about like which chapters were given more weightage and uh, what was the scene arin would like to say uh, i can remember gaseous state and uh, thermodynamics in the chemistry section there were uh, there were questions from these two chapters uh, and uh, there was one question from electrochemistry from electrochemistry as it was related to displacement reactions and uh, uh, that's how much i can remember clearly like uh, there were uh, in the sample paper there were questions like fill in the blanks uh, and we had to choose yeah, options yeah. so uh, like that was in the reap section and there was one question in chemistry uh, i can remember that there was something like fill in the blanks uh, it was related to iron and uh, uh, cadmium okay fine <laughs> okay let's talk about the mathematics and all the hilarious questions that you the question from the estonian language which which we had to decode so it consumed a lot of time because uh, uh, five questions in the complete series was asked from that paragraph only and then there were uh, nine questions that were asked from three paragraphs that were given simultaneously so one was dependent on physics that was the distance time graph then we had to uh, there were four questions on that that a uh, person is running what would be his graph will it be a positive uh positive slope negative slope will it uh, give accelerations and things like that and uh, the question from the estonian language uh, which uh, i believe required time to decode and uh, rest uh, the dance question and uh, these were the questions that uh, were majorly asked in the uh, reap section and rest there were also questions on like interpretation like if a there was a question like if a magician said something and you also said something so how if you are interpreting it something like the uh, statement is true or false or does the statement imply this something like that sort of question there were two or three questions and those were coupled with probability so like you need to understand the the kind of language that they are talking and then maybe write it down and those types of basically logical reasoning uh, okay last a lot of people asked me like what would be the expected cutoff Oh, 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 oh,